What's up, everyone? I'm Cynthia Conte for the best women's boxing show, period. Sweet poison. I love your face-offs because you're just all smiles. And then when the girls are looking up at you, you're like, <laughs> it is my favorite part about you. Uh, but you are, this is your second title defense. Big card, Riyadh season, Golden Boy. How exciting is this for you? I mean, it's, this is, you know, for women's b boxing, it's a huge because you're representing all of women and all of boxers. It's very exciting, you know, it's Vegas, that's where boxing capital is, you know, yeah. so it's, and it's a big card, it's a big card, big stage, and uh, so I think the fans are going to get their money's worth. You know, when I was talking to your brother yesterday, Sebastian Fundora, if you guys don't know that, uh, Miss Gabriela Fundora, um, he just says that he knows your work rate, he knows how you are in the gym, and so he knows what you're going to bring, because you train, or you spar with his uh, sparring partners. Do you spar any women at all, or just all males? I'm just curious. I don't know what the heck he told you. I, I have my own sparring partners. No, no, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I do spar women to, to prep for my fights, yeah, and... Um, uh, I, I don't know what Sebastian, what are you telling me in <laughs> No, but he did say really good things about you. He did say that uh, not only do you represent women boxers, but you represent boxing in general. And I love that statement. Because I said it again, and you guys got mad, that there are female fighters that have better fights than men. True. And whoever that, the person on our uh, YouTube, I named five, six women bouts that were pretty badass. I had to, like, call out a, a YouTuber. <laughs> Anywho, um, but this fight, you know, every fight is different for you because it's a 50-50 chance. Uh, when you look at, do you study your, your own um, opponents or do you just let your dad and everyone do that? I do the basic. I let my, my team do that more, more thorough, but um, basic, I guess, you know, yeah. whatever pops up on YouTube. Yeah. Other than that, it's just work hard and whatever my, t my coach, my dad tells me, so, yeah. You know, I'm curious, like when you watch your opponent, it could be this one, it could be, you're like, do you, are you honest, you're like, she's good, or you're like, mm, this is easy, this will be easy work. Oh, I, <laughs> I work hard, so I like to think that you train hard in the gym, the fight's going to be easy, you know, yeah. so, so as long as you know that you're go going to that fight a thousand percent, and, and it's not uh, where it's like overlooking, mm -hmm. but it's just, you're confident in yourself, and that you know that I'm going to win, yeah. I'm going to win. Well, okay, so this is a very interesting uh, ceremonial way, and we saw people off on the sides fighting. It wasn't even the fighters talking smack, uh, but this is a very heated uh, fight card. You're on a very big main event, 50-50. Sergei Bohuchuk versus Virgil Ortiz, you are fight fam through and through. Uh, how do you see this fight playing out? And, you know, the, if you guys don't know why uh, Virgil is uh, upset and everyone's fighting, it's because their team allegedly said, Sergei's team allegedly said that he couldn't make weight that's that's you guys Google it. So after all of that, um, how do you see this fight playing out? Um, I think they're both strong fighters. You know, they look at their uh, knockout record. That's enough said right there. Yeah, yeah. So um, I think it might go to distance because I think they both have that the hunger. Mm -hmm. So it's not it's not going to be. Uh, it, I don't know. I don't know. It could be a knockout too, but yeah. it just. The, Depends who's the stronger fighter because they're both very strong. Yeah. All right. Now, after this win, uh, I know you want to go undisputed. You want to collect belts. I know. You, I don't like you, you know, looking over. But who would be the next lady that um, you would like to step in the ring with? Which belt do you want to claim? Well, the one that has it right now is a, a girl from Argentina, the other Gabriela. Yeah. yeah. So she has the rest of the three. So... I want to grab those. Undisputed. Undisputed. And then you can move up and wait. What What do you think, because uh, you're young, you're skinny, you're muscular. What is the cap weight you can make? Do you think you'll be in your whole career? I don't know. Maybe after I collect these belts, I'll probably go down on weight. I freaking, I, I, I wait on the scale. I wait, <laughs> I wait on the scale 109, so I know I can make 108 easy. But um, oh, Dad, She's such a show off. Like 108, 109. I don't even think I've seen that weight in like forever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what the uh, God has planned for us. All right. And then lastly, so Sebastian Fundora, I was talking to him because, you know, we were chatting. And he said, like I said, he said you're, you rep represent boxing overall and you are going to be undisputed. Now I'm going to ask him about you. So there are talks of like he was supposed to fight Crawford and um, maybe I think I think whoever wins this fight, would he be in line because he's 154, the WBC. Um, but there's a lot of fights. Who would you, since you're the sister, you're a boxing fan, do you? Do you guys, do you ever sit in chat like,
come on, Sebastian, I think this would be a really good fight. Show your skills. Not say you necessarily win, but it would be a skill for skill fight. Who would that be in your eyes? Um, well, right now, he's set for Spence, so yeah, we'll oh, see. So, <laughs> yeah, and Sebastian cleared that up because I go, everyone's saying it's off. He's like, no. So, yeah. He, but did you, would Spence have been your first choice or would it have been someone else? I think so, you know, it's, it's you, just because Spence off once, you can't count him off, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it, it's, it's, he's still a top class fighter. So I think it would be a great fight for Sebastian, and it's, it's, it's a good time to, uh, even, whatever he needs to prove, I guess, even more, right? I think he proved himself multiple oh, times, yeah. but, but um, it would be a good fight for him. It would be yeah. good. I, I said uh, in the 147, 154, and 160, the, all the guys are moving up in weight. They can. And Boots has been, you know, 147 forever, can't get fights. I asked him, would he fight? Would, can he move down? Would he move down? He's like, I don't duck nobody. Based off your answer, if you're like, I can move down, you guys are tall, skinny, and lean, I think Sebastian can make 147 easily. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a problem. <laughs> I, I don't know where all these well, weight bullies come in and all that stuff, but um, we we do anyway. Honestly, we, we go down on weight, go the two classes down, it, and we'll still be fine, and, and and we'll still perform how the fans want us to perform. And, but even moving down in weight, your carry can your power can carry over. I think so. It's just how hard you're gonna work. How hard, I, how, did, you, how hard did you work in the gym that that it's gonna. Uh, Showcase the fight. I love I love all your answers, Gabriella. Best of luck to you this Saturday, August 10th. She's here at Mandalay Bay, Viva Las Vegas. If you guys are in town, come get tickets. If not, DAZN. Check this girl out. It's Riyadh season. Gabriella, sweet poison, about to poison her opponent. Cannot wait. Best of luck to you, Thank Gabby. You so much. Thank, you. Thank you. All right, guys. I'm Cindy Conte for the Best Women's Boxing Show. Period. See you guys at the fights. Bye, guys.